My name is Taylor Johnson. I'm a junior at Governor Prince Academy. And did you know women who use hair dye on a regular basis are 9% more likely to develop breast cancer due to mutagenic chemicals and paraphenylene diamines, also known as PPDs. Researchers at the National Institute of Environmental Health found a link between breast cancer and hair dye, and I want to find a solution to decrease this risk. I dyed blonde horse hair using permanent Clairol hair dye in the shade Red Brown and washed the hair for two weeks using Pantene and Garnier shampoo. And I rinsed with 75 degrees Celsius distilled water instead of tap water for a less chance of error and more clarity in my results. I repeated this for three trials. My goal was to determine which shampoo made the horse hair fade the fastest. And in testing my results, exhibited that Pantene shampoo made the horse hair fade from a 5 on a salon based color strip to a 4 in a mere 3 days, while Garnier held color for 6 days before fading to a 4 as well. What causes fading in dyed hair? Hot water and sulfates. When dyeing hair, the hair cuticle is lifted allowing the desired pigments to be thrusted inside the hair follicle. Yet Hot water and sulfates can cause the cuticle to lift and release the desired color. And unfortunately, this is essentially what consumers are doing every day when they're washing their hair, is releasing those desired pigments that they've tried so hard to reach for. These sulfates in shampoos are sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium laureth sulfate, and sodium myreth sulfate. Many shampoos sold to the general public and are sold to the general public and contain these sulfates on the labels. And this is essentially what says what is listed in their ingredients. What consumers fail to realize is once the cuticle is lifted, the sulfates strip and erode the hair of its essential oils and the color that was thrusted in the hair follicle. There is a cycle the public has failed to notice. Consumers, women who dye their hair, use sulfate shampoos such as Pantene and Garnier and re-dye their hair as soon as the hair dye begins to fade. And the permanent hair dyes aren't lasting as long as they should or as long as they say. And this unfortunately increases the risk of developing breast cancer. If I were to expand on this experiment and expand my research, I would have more trials as well as testing more shampoos that are being sold to the general public. I would test shampoos that have the least amount of sulfates as well as organic shampoos and sulfate free shampoos for definite results. Thank you for your time and I hope you found this research as interesting and eye opening as I did.